Without further ado, let's hear it for Superintendent Dr. Bruce Gehring. There we go. Come on over. There we go. Before we get started, we'd love for our staff to get, you, get to know you a little bit better, Dr. Bruce Gehring. So we're going to do a round of two truths and a lie. I'll start us off. So I have six toes. I've been in LAC my whole academic career, and I was born in California. What is it, guys? Let's think about this. I think it's really hard, right? Well, I think it's the California <laughs> Kelly, Ramya. I'm going to call your bluff. You don't have six toes. Ramya is correct. I don't have six toes. I was born in California, moved here when I was three, and I've spent my whole life at LAC. Yeah. Cool. Does that mean it's my turn? Yes. yes. All right. I have hunted a zebra, and I have its head mounted above my mantle, and it has these really creepy glass eyes, like the Mona Lisa that watches you as you cross the room. I'm also fully biliterate, which means that I understand, speak, read, and write in two distinct languages. And I have bungee jumped off a 200-foot bridge into a dry riverbed. Oh, this is a hard one. You seem so well-rounded, sir. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to say you've never hunted a zebra. Wow, you got it. I have Why? shot things, but only with a camera. I was going to choose bungee jumping. Yeah, sorry, guys. Here we go. I've mastered two truths and a lie, y'all. Okay, let's see if they can call my bluff now. So, I've been a beauty pageant winner before. I've danced for eight years, not right now, but <laughs> in the past. And I've played football. I'm gonna have to go with beauty pageant. No offense, Rami has a lovely young woman, isn't she? She's definitely won a beauty pageant. There's no doubt in my mind, it has to be the football thing. Yeah, I've never played football before. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Now that we've gotten to know you a little bit better, Dr. Gehring, this year, as a part of the Superintendent Student Advisory Council, Callie and I, and every student leader across Leander ISD who was part of it, has grown and been able to really learn a lot more about student empowerment through our discussions. So we wanted to ask you, what have you learned? from our Superintendent Student Advisory Council. I'll tell you, I have learned there is more power in student voice than I ever imagined. I mean, just look at these two. They're up here like professionals dealing with this really complex show and doing an incredible job of leading us through. It's just natural. So I know that when we turn things over to kids and empower them to reach their goals, they'll far surpass anything that we could have dreamed of. Thank you, Dr. Gehring. Let's just give that a round of applause. Woo! Now, here's a follow-up to that. What do you want every staff member and teacher to know this year, or to remember? I want you to remember what A.J. Giuliani said, which is, our job is not to help, our job is not to prepare students for something. Our job is to help students prepare themselves for anything. And that's the subtle difference between us telling and teaching and them learning. And they are so capable of doing so much more than we can ever dream or imagine. So let's bring them in, let's listen to their voice, and let's empower them to do more. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'd say, overall, this has really set the tone for the year. It's all about student empowerment. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is an incredible year ahead. We have many challenges to face. But together, in person, we can surpass all those challenges. We can overcome the things that come to us if we just settle in, rely on each other, really connect to each other, and then cultivate these guys, the power of our students. So this is going to be a fantastic 20 one twenty-two school year. Let's go out, let's reach out, connect with each other, let's cultivate our students, let's cultivate each other. Let's do this, let's go get them.